Okay, so now let's take a look at the second part, which is about the database. We need to use spreadsheet, the Excel, and also Access database in order to do this task. Okay, so we can ignore number six and seven because both the questions are about the theory, and from this year we don't have to. I mean, we don't get any theory questions in this exam, in the practical exam. So it will be all about uh, solving in computer. Okay. So first, if you look into question number eight, it says that we need to use a suitable software to open up this file. So we have this file employees.txt. So the .txt can be easily opened up in Notepad. But this is about the database, and we need to uh, what normalize the database. So Okay, so it will be a flat file. As we open up, we will see all the information in one particular file, and we need to normalize that file. So when we normalize, basically we have to break down the file into two or three different files. Okay, so let's first go to spreadsheet and open up this employee.txt. So we can go to this is your spreadsheet and to insert we go to data and then get external data and from text because this is a .txt file we have to select .txt and this is the file employee so you can double click and it they will ask you so my data as header so okay we can select the data and delimit it by the tabs okay and then click on next Next, so we can see the data over here. So everything is okay, I suppose. So we may take a look at and then click on next. And okay, so we can click on finish here and we will see it shows where do you want to start. So I click OK and we will see the data. So we have imported the file which is employee.txt. Okay. So after importing, we will now examine the data. So we can see here, the first we can see the surname, then the first name, then the date of birth. Uh, we can make it center. Then we have the job, the place of employment, the address of employment, address of employment. Then this column, there is nothing. So we can just delete. Then we have the date of employment. So these are the information that we can see. Now we need to manipulate this data. That means we need to uh, create two different files from this one particular spreadsheet. Okay. So we can see that there are some repeated information that is the address of employment which are repeated. So we will extract this data and put in a new file. So this is the main. So we can give the name as this is the main file. Okay, and then we can create the we can rename as say maybe employee and another will be employer. Okay, so first we will try to get this data that is the place of employment the address of employment this way we are going to take it to we are going to copy this so we are going to copy this and we will put it into the employer so this is again uh, we can change the name say employer then this will be address 1 address 3 and address 4 so here we can see that some data which are uh, we can see that some data which are repeated so we are going to filter those data and we are going to have only the data which are not repeated okay so most of the data are repeated over here so basically when we do the 
3NF form, we are going to have only the unique records. We are not going to have the duplicate records. So for that, we have to filter the data. So to filter the data, we can select all. Then we go to data and here is the filter option. So click on the filter option and then click on advance. And now after that, we just select the unique records only. So we are going to filter the data. All the duplicate records will be gone. So click OK and we will only have the, <coughs> the data which is only unique, appears for only one time. So this entire record we have to copy because we will give a primary key. Here we cannot do anything because it's, it doesn't allow us. So first we will copy all the records that has been filtered. So we will copy this and we will move it to another one paste it first and then we can make it as employer 1 employer 1 and then arrange the cells so make it bigger so here it's blank so we should not leave it blank so we can fill it up by just copying the data we can just drag and copy again for this other part we can just drag and copy so for this data or table we will give a primary key because when we go to access we need to make the relationship so we can give a new primary key here say employer code employer code and we will we can give say e1 then this will be e2 and after that we can just drag and copy in the same format so we can just drag and copy here so we have this information so this is the first table we can see here we have employer address 1 address 2 3 4 and up to employer code so this code again we need to give it to the employee table because uh, or we can go to the main table here okay so this is the main one so we can just so here we can go to the main one here we can give employee employee employer code make a new column employer code again this is also missing you can just copy just to avoid any kind of problems same same for the other Okay, so now this is the complete database and we are going to look up this employee code from the employer one. Okay, so here we already have the code. So equal V look up. What are you going to look up? We are looking going to look up the E2 which is the employer name comma where do we look up we go to the employer one select the range comma and what is the column one two three four five six so column number six and then give false bracket close and enter so this will be your employer one and then we can just drag and copy now to hmm. so here was the problem I need to so we give what the dollar sign now so it's not coming 
so we just give the dollar sign so that we can get the exit match so dollar dollar a dollar two dollar f and dollar 24 and then we drag and copy to make it static so now we got the, our employee code so this is the main one and then we have the other one that is the employer one so the other two we can just delete it if we because we are not going to use these two files now we have the main where we have all the information and the other one is the employer one so we save this and we are going to use this in access so you can give a name so I'll save it here employees so we can save as employees save it 